on. Y'all already know what time it is, honey. It is Chrissy time. Or should I say, Wagwan. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? It's Chrissy time here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not new, if you're one of my day one, day twos, or day threes, okay? But if you are new, welcome to this channel, okay? This channel is about reviewing and recapping favorite movies and episodes and shows that we are currently watching. Also, we did and dabble with some hot topics, and we also may talk about some social issues, okay? Now, first and foremost, disclaimer, I do apologize if y'all hear bumping and banging, if y'all hear drills going off, if y'all hear that. <laughs> I am currently getting my roof replaced, okay? They've been here since 7 a.m. child, and I thought by now, I mean, I don't, I've never had her, and I've never have gone through this process of getting my roof replaced so i apologize if i just don't know that it takes this long but it is now currently what seven <laughs> 704 so they've been here for a good 12 hours chat now we do have a big roof so and my husband's like well you know it's a big roof right anyway if y'all hear the bumping and the thumping and the slamming and the banging and the zip 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 I apologize, okay? I tried to muffle and close my doors, and hopefully it's not too bad for the video, but I'll find out once I edit this chat. Anyway, this video, hunty, is me basically breaking down and, not breaking down, but explaining why I am choosing to no longer review Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, it was a decision that <clears throat> I actually wanted to make after episode three <laughs> but i said you know i'll stick with it you never know but as other content creators have stated um it's becoming very difficult to really review this show for me personally because it's it's kind of hard when you kind of know that things are not really reality but you're trying to make it reality you know what i mean or you know the editing is not as forgiving <laughs> there's a lot of editing issues with this <laughs> with this season i don't know what it is i don't know why but things aren't matching up responses aren't matching up to what people say it's just a lot really to kind of try to follow the story now previous season it's been better i don't know what's going on carlos maybe you can let us know but editing sucks <laughs> <laughs> the editing this season sucks okay but you know it's it's just something I decided that I really wanted to you know free myself of because it does take a while to write notes and prepare these notes and prepare these shows and yes I'm a beginner and know my reviews and recaps I don't know what's perfect to some but you know it's my review and recap you know it's my thoughts and my opinion so it is what it is but it does it does seem very hard to review. I find myself having to watch scenes multiple times and what would take me maybe two hours to go through a show and do notes on top of watching the show, this takes almost four or five hours. And that's just crazy. <laughs> there are other shows and other things I want to review and we'll get to that later on in this video when i tell you guys what i really want to really dive into because i'm into other shows too and we'll do that but first i do want to really dive in as to why i just cannot review this show now outside of the editing the storylines fake um it's very hard to really understand once you know what's going behind the scenes and a lot of stuff if y'all have if y'all have been living under a rock if y'all watch, first of all, if y'all are watching this video, I need for y'all to go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and like, go ahead and comment, share, notify yourself. I am a growing channel, okay? Please stick with me, okay? Re watch my reviews, watch my shorts, okay? Follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. It's Chrissy Time on both platforms. Um, links to those are down in my description box. I'll also pop them here as well. But go ahead and follow us, sister, okay? Because I'm, look, I'm trying to make it in this world. <laughs> Let me carry on what I was saying. So there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes that are now coming to the front of the scene, okay? And if y'all are even watching this video, 
you know what's going on. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of things going on with Martel Holt. Okay, there's a lot of things coming out in regards to, you know, him conspiring some type of plot or plan to get at Mel. It's just a lot. And it's get to the point where it's toxic. The children are now being brought into the situation. I'm hearing, you know, his supposed girlfriend for real is posting pictures of boss baby on mother's day it's getting nasty okay and me personally i do not want to indulge myself or indulge myself into situations that are toxic that's just my opinion um i can't say for seasons coming forward if i will be reviewing it or not i just find myself um finding pleasure reviewing other shows that i like to watch than this one okay i will still review real housewives of atlanta that's still my show okay it's not hard to review i can re i can write my notes to that easy okay it's just for this show it's becoming very very difficult um uh, <clears throat> but i do want to talk a little bit about what happened last week I'm pretty sure you guys are preview. You probably watch tons and tons of videos in regards to what's going on and trying to keep up to date, as so I. <laughs> but I do want to give my thoughts and opinions on what happened. So apparently with the last, not last episode, it was the week before that when the lady was at the tea, okay? There was a young lady that was brought there and I was kind of scratching my head on who she was too. And I didn't know who bought her. So apparently Tisha bought her, okay? Miss Carson, <laughs> okay? She came, apparently she is uh, or was at some point in time Tisha's hairdresser. She was doing her hair for the show or for events and things like that. And Tisha bought her because there were, I guess there were some issues and Tisha thought to bring her to the tea about communicating and stuff like that because they were having issues in the past and I guess Tisha wanted to get over it or, you know, work through it. Now, I watched... Her interview, I think I watched it twice, okay, of Queen Sheba. She had an interview with Queen Sheba. Shout out to her. If y'all have not watched that video of her interview, go watch that, okay? Go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Show love, interact, do all the things over there. Um, but when I watched her, her, her interview and the questions I was asked of her, one question really stood out because that's the question I had, you know, coming into it. My question was, why would Tisha invite you if the timeline of when you stopped doing her hair was like october i think that's what she said and y'all just did the show or or did the taping for the show or recorded that episode at the t just a couple of what like a month or two ago i think this happened maybe around april maybe april march so why would she think of you of all people to me <laughs> to me tisha should have bought kiki to me now, I know Kiki was invited, but that should have been her plus one, non plus one. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, to me, Tisha shouldn't have bought nobody. She had issues with Kiki. That was her, since the very beginning, she has had issues with Kiki. And it would have been nice for them to continue to talk. Even though they say they claim they talk through their stuff, they still ain't talk about through their nothing. They ain't talk through nothing, okay? They still got issues, okay? That's first and foremost. Let's start there. But to me, why would you bring somebody who, even Carson was like, I haven't done any business with her. Why would she bring me? Now, if y'all don't know who Carson is, again watch please and i'll put that i'll put that link down in my description uh box of that interview go watch the interview it's it was a long interview but it's an interview that's going to keep you engaged okay they asked a lot of great questions shout out again to miss queen sheba she did her thug thizzle on that interview i definitely enjoyed it um but go watch that because within which which is the reason why the girl was brought out of the bushes, <laughs> dragged out of her front door, is because Carson got ties to Arion, okay, Coleslaw, okay? And the reason why she got ties to her is because when she was transitioning from Detroit, where she is, where she was living, and also where she's predominantly from, even though she was born, I believe, in California, she spent most of her life in Detroit, so that's where she claimed where she's from. When she was moving or making that transition into Huntsville, 
um, as being a hairdresser, Arian reached out to her, I believe is how that went. She reached out to her. They started having some type of dialogue. She was in transition to moving to Huntsville and they linked up one time from what I understand, right? And this was before um, her dealings with, with Aum. Now keep that in mind. Keep that in your pocket, okay? Now they dragged her out of the bushes because I guess somebody knew somebody who knew <laughs> that she had ties to Arion. Okay, so it was blowing her spot up. So they thought like, oh, so you trying to, you know, be in male's presence, you trying to be messy, right? So what Carson was saying was that she told Tisha that, hey, I have ties with this person. No, we're not friends, but we've met and we've had conversations and I'm privy to the situation of her and Martell. But I just want you to know, because I don't want to be on no messy stuff, because that's not why I'm here. I'm here to do a job. I'm here to do your hair. I'm not here to be messy. Okay, so supposedly, Tisha knew that she had ties with Arion prior to her bringing her to that tea. Now, hold on to that for a second, okay? So, <laughs> so, again, a lot of this stuff is going on. It's going on in the, you know, behind the scenes. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, because I've said this before. I do not feel that it is a good idea that this show and Real Housewives of Atlanta are premiering at the same time. It's, 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 it really isn't a good look. It's contra I said this before. I don't know if it was on one of my Real Housewives of Atlanta recaps or Love and Marriage Huntsville recaps. Very contradicting situations going on. It's very much what the freak is going on. Because it's like when you review a show, I mean, of course, with reality shows, some things may become like, okay, that's a little fake. But for the whole thing to be fake, it's just, it makes it difficult. And then on top of that, you have this situation with Miss Carson. And apparently there was some type of plot between Martel, allegedly, allegedly, there was this plot that Martel um, had this video of him and Mel when they were married, having, you know, fun, you know, marital fun. <laughs> marital fun and he videotaped it or recorded it right and he was trying to use it as blackmail on miss melanie sheree okay apparently allegedly he told arian to make a fake page of a guy okay and then post his video of the marital fun to make it seem like Mel was doing it to this fake guy and not Martell who was her husband at the time that the recording took place <sighs> I uh, and that's why it's hard for me guys because I can't sit here and just go along and record with this stuff is coming out y'all and y'all see it y'all see it and it's like why do we even as content creators why do we need to spend the time to promote because that's what this is doing is recapping is keeping engagement is keeping people talking about the show why should we take the time out of our day to review record put it out there keep the engagement flowing if everything that we're reviewing that's supposed to be reality is not. It's not. And then on top of that, you have the layer of toxicity because you have Melanie being subjected, in my opinion, being subjected to record and be around and 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 be be in the vicinity. And I know it's kind of hard for her not to be because they have children. But she has to be in meetings. She has to, you know, combat group. She has to be in these, you know, scenes, you know, all cast scenes has to be forced to, you know, shoot with a person that's doing this to her. That is crazy. And I heard a lot of people say, well, Mel just need to leave. I don't think she need to leave. Martell needs to leave. 
period. Because anytime Carlos always say about this show, anytime Carlos always refer to the starting and the beginning of the show and the this and the that, he always say, Melanie, Melanie, Melanie brought, Melanie did, Melanie. So why should she leave something that she took a part in starting? That's not fair. This is a platform that has helped her be as successful as she is. This is just one, one rendition of it because Melanie is a beast. Let's, let's give it to her. But this is a platform that she helped create to build businesses for herself. Why should she leave? I would leave for what? No, no, he need to go. With all this is coming out about Martel, what has Carlos done besides <laughs> going press runs with him? Now, I saw the petitions, y'all, about, you know, Carlos need to go, Martel need to go, and all this and all that. Do I think Carlos going to wear? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he ain't going to wear, okay? Do I think Martel is going somewhere? There's a possibility that he could. However, it won't be because Carlos said you got to go unless he has forced his hand to do so. It won't be his personal decision like, hey, for the betterment of this show, it's a lot going on. You know, we're not going to be able to renew your contract this season. Blah, 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 blah. But instead, he is fighting for Martel to rebrand his image like we don't know what's all going on and throw this fake relationship of him and Sheree in our face and throw it down our throats and force it in, our, just force it. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's just sad. And I, for one, am no longer going to subject myself to review this mess. <laughs> now, will I still watch? I may, on occasion, I may still watch and see what the heck going on, but, and laugh at the fakery, but I'm not going to waste my time in review. I'm not going to do the hours and hours of trying to piece things together to come to you guys with, you know, a video. I'm just not going to do it. And that's just my opinion. I'm just going to be honest because I think everybody is giving a facade. Okay. I'm going to go down the line and then I'm going to move on and let y'all know what else coming down the pipeline because I'm just over the show. Okay. When it comes to Kimmy and, and Maurice. I feel like it's very toxic. I feel like Maurice definitely belittles Kimmy. I feel like he's a more so in disguise with the chauvinistic ways. I feel like he does not care in regards to how, how much she is giving to relationship. I feel like he wants her to give it all and he give what he want to give. And that to me is not being displayed like it should be. And he's not being held to the fire as much. I feel like the editing is giving it to us to make us be like, okay, you a piece of mess. But it's not giving Kimmy enough room, in my opinion, enough room to be herself. Because in my, in my opinion, the way that Kimmy is responding to him, like in that scene when they were talking about Monster, how she was trying to be so passive and this and that, I don't feel like she'd be like that all the time at all. I'm sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. It's giving fake. Now, let's go over to Tisha and Marceau. That shouldn't take too long. Y'all know what's going on. I feel like they're not giving us the real. <laughs> I feel like Marceau is out here doing his thing. And Tisha is just allowing it. But she's just giving the whole wife team, wife team, this team, marriage. My man ain't. Mm, eh, eh. Girl, can't say too much about that. Y'all know. Now, as far as uh, Tiffany and Lewis, that's all fake. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so many things that's coming out about them. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. Allegedly, <laughs> this is heavy. Heavy on the legend because I still gotta, I still gotta get, I still gotta get the tea hut. But allegedly, she ain't in the house no more. Let's move on. Um, Martel, <laughs> he got some girlfriend. I think her name Melinda, but he out here parading with Sheree. They not following each other no more. I, I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, Ariana still in the picture clearly. <laughs> The only one that's giving me real, honestly, Melanie, of course, to me, 
I feel like how she's reacting, how she's explaining, how she's doing is really legit to how she would do it. And Stormy, Stormy is giving me real. <laughs> Okay, we may not agree with Miss Stormy all the time, but she's giving us authentic. I feel like Stormy and Courtney are giving us real and authentic. Okay, as much as we don't like Kiki, that's who Kiki is. Okay, I feel like Kiki is giving the real. <laughs> I can't say Kiki either, but when it comes to the real and the fake, Kiki is giving us real. Okay, and I can at least respect that portion. I may not can respect anything else from from sis, but hey, I can respect that. Okay, yeah. And that's, that's basically it. I mean, I mean, it's just not worth it, guys. Okay? Now, I'm going to move on. Okay? Because I got some other stuff I want to review. And I want to get your take on it. Okay? So, I am heavy into Netflix reality shows. <laughs> okay? I am heavy in it. Okay? I will be now reviewing, okay, Selling Sunset Season 6. Even though I've seen all the other seasons. I will be reviewing that and I will be reviewing um, Young Famous or Famous Young Africans, okay? That's my show too. So I will, I will be reviewing those series, those reality show series. Let me know if y'all like it. I also will be reviewing Queen Charlotte. <laughs> that I will be reviewing. So those are going to be things you're going to see me start to review. Not the typical housewife and stuff like that. And by, and by the way, I need to get this shot out of the way anyway because American Medicine is coming down the pipe. Hello, Phaedra Parks is about to come back on the tizzoop. <laughs> okay. And then we got Real Housewives of Potomac. Now, I done told y'all about Real Housewives of Potomac. I told y'all, and I'm going to stick to my word. I'm going to do episode by episode basis. Because <laughs> everybody is coming back, and I don't believe they should. I'm not happy to see Robin. I'm not happy to see Giselle. I'm not happy to see Mia. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not happy to see Ashley TikToking everywhere. I'm not, okay? I will do episode by episode basis because I love Candace and Whitney uh, um, and Wendy. Okay, that's the only reason why I'm giving it a chance because my love for them sisters right there. Everybody else can go where they go, okay? But I just wanted to come and give y'all this, this quick video because this weekend for me is going to be jam-packed with stuff with family and, and friends and graduations and celebrations. So it's going to be a, a very, very busy um, weekend. And we're going to go see Little Mermaid. Go look. If, especially if you this color okay go support little mermaid y'all go support hallie okay i'm taking my my bonus baby and my niece okay and we're gonna go and see little mermaid and so this weekend is gonna be jam-packed y'all i still will be uploading my shorts of course but i just wanted to let y'all know how i was feeling about you know Love and Marriage Huntsville and why I'm not reviewing or recording not reviewing recording reviewing or recapping that show okay so i love you guys thank you so much for rocking with me let me let me know if y'all still even watching love and marriage Hunts because I, I heard a lot of people the the boycotted it are you one of the ones that boycotted the show <laughs> i heard the viewership went down okay let me know if y'all even still watching okay and by as many likes as i got on my community tab of me posting and and making it you know making my announcement that i'm no longer you know reviewing i got i got a lot of likes on that so clearly y'all don't care y'all don't mind it <laughs> but y'all let me know of course of, 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 of course if something go go crazy in regards to the show not the show itself of course i would come to y'all and talk to y'all you know i wanted to review you know, um, Melanie's live and all that, you know, however, I was busy doing a lot. And then also I felt like it was very sensitive. It was a sensitive matter. And I just wanted to leave it where, where it was. I saw a lot of other content creators reviewed that and I didn't want to oversaturate, but let me know how y'all felt about my thoughts and opinions on this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, um, and thank you so much for your support. I do appreciate each and every one of you for spending your time with me. And as always, y'all already know what time it is. Honey, it is Christmas. And I will see y'all in the next video. Okay.